Cat here. I had the opportunity to order a past box from the Nocturnal Readers box. I am going to be getting the new one, the Stephen King one, so I'm excited. But anyway, <clears throat> I already saw all these in um, unboxings and I thought, yeah, I'd like to have that. So I got this Don't Panic towel. This was included in the box. You've all probably seen this already, but I thought I'd just do my own video on it. What the heck? Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's what the Don't Panic logo is from. And then this, I forget. They said it on a lot of boxings, but I totally forget. These are socks, okay? And I know my husband will probably want these. Jen. It's like Gen Tech or something, and I forget. We let's see, what does this say? Maybe this will remind me what movie it's from or what book it's from. Okay, we make the future. Okay, I really, I really don't know. Could this be the corporation that was going to do, you know, the Jurassic Park and all of that? I'll have to find out. It has slipped my mind. But I'm going to give these socks to my husband. There you go, dear. This is so soft right here. This is like one of those yoga towels. I love it. Okay. And then here's some soap from Paper Street Soap Company. I don't smell anything, but um, it came in this, and this is what it looks like. I'm not sure what it goes with. Maybe there's a card that'll tell me, okay? There could be a card. Here are some cards here. I'm going to put these to the side. Southern Reach Expedition 12 Field Notes. And it's like a little journal. And I understand that this is a really popular trilogy. And it's really kind of creepy and scary, or so I've heard. I might give it a try, but this is from that. I like how it has its own little bookmark rubber band or band, elastic band, not rubber band, but I like it. Yeah, I definitely could use this. I can't get enough journals. I like the cover. I like the feel of the cover kind of classy okay so that's uh in honor of the books the trilogy southern reach um hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy i'll find out about this and let you know then there's a pin yeah the velociraptor from jurassic park this is a nice enamel pin too let me get this out and show you this is really nice See, this was the May 2017 box that I was able to order. Can you see it? Okay. This is a really cool print. I have to find out what this is from, though. I like that. It's really abstract. Neat. Okay. And the books. They give you all these, like, bookish items. And then they send you some books. Okay, Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Oh, and I got a book plate with his autograph on it, with his signature. That is awesome. I 
can put it right in here. Awesome. Maybe I'll do that right now. I'm probably going to ruin this by trying to put it on there. Let me see if my assistant will help me. I believe this is charcoal soap, but we'll see. Okay, my lovely assistant husband <laughs> is opening the book plate or undoing the book plate so I can put it on here. I'm kind of like anal retentive, so I want to put it on just perfect. See, I messed it up. My assistant was trying to make me do it, and I messed it up like I said I was going to. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Okay. Oh, I hope I line this up right. Okay, I guess that looks pretty good. A little crooked. See? Oh. Hmm. That's one thing I would like. If they could just put them on themselves for people who are incompetent about putting their own book plates in, they should just do it for us. <laughs> anyway, there you have it. And I'm going to read you uh, a few excerpts from this book. Okay, am I a person, Bourne asked me. Yes, you are a person, I told him. But like a person, you can be a weapon too. In Bourne, a young woman named Rachel survives as a scavenger in a ruined city half destroyed by drought and conflict. The city is dangerous, littered with discarded experiments from the company, a biotech firm now derelict, and punished by the unpredictable predations predations yeah predations of a giant bear oh maybe this could have something to do with this book okay um <clears throat> let's see let me read more rachel ekes out an existence in the shelter of a rundown sanctuary she shares with her partner wick who deals his own homegrown psychoactive biotech and then I guess Rachel finds Bourne during a scavenging mission and brings him home. Okay, that's intriguing. And there's a picture of Vandermeer. Okay, so he wrote the Southern Reach trilogy that I'd heard about. In fact, I remember, yeah, I was looking up when I found out about this book. I was looking him up as an author to find out what else he wrote. And I did see... Some blurbs about the Southern Reach trilogy. It's coming back to me now. And it's going to be made into a movie. The first one. Annihilation in the Southern Reach trilogy. So this sounds like a maybe a sci-fi horror. But it's going to be interesting to read. And then here's this book here. Um, Normal. By Warren Ellis. And let's see. Some people call it abyss gaze. Gaze into the abyss all day and the abyss will gaze into you. There are two types of people who think professionally about the future. Foresight strategists are civil futurists who think about geoengineering and smart cities and ways to evade our coming doom. Strategic forecasters are spook futurists who think about geopolitical upheaval and drone warfare and ways to prepare clients for our coming doom. Oh. The former are paid by nonprofits and charities, the latter by global security groups and corporate think tanks. For both types, if you're good at it and spend your days and nights doing it, then it's something you can't do for long. Depression sets in. Yeah, I would imagine. Mental illness festers. And if abyss... If abyss gaze takes hold, there's only one place to, to recover. Normal head in the wilds of Oregon within the secure perimeter of an experimental forest. Wow. Okay. 
This sounds very interesting. When Adam Dearden, a foresight strategist, arrives at normal head, he is desperate to unplug and be immersed in sylvan silence. Okay, I guess the book will tell us what sylvan silence is. But then a patient goes missing from a locked bedroom, leaving nothing but a pile of insects in his waist. In his wake, excuse me. A staff investigate. This writing is tiny. A staff investigation ensures surveillance. Surveillance becomes total. Okay, let me read that correctly again. A staff investigation ensues. Surveillance becomes total. As the mystery of the disappeared man unravels in Warren Ellis's normal, Adam uncovers a conspiracy that calls into question the core principles of how and why we think about the future and the past and the now. And then Jeff Vandermeer, who wrote this book, said, Normal is abnormal, fascinating, and terrifying. Deceptively compact, it contains multitudes. Great stuff that still has me thinking. And then some other people wrote stuff. Okay, good. I look forward to reading this, and it's a smaller book. So, you know what? I'll do a review on this after I read it. I'll do a review on this after I read it. But I have so many books, I don't know when I'm going to get to each one. You know what I may have to do? I may have to write down the names of all my books and, like, put them in a hat or something. And then just reach in. Okay, what am I going to read next? Okay, I picked this book out of the hat. That kind of deal, because that's how many I have. Um, but I'm sure compared to some of you all, some of you booktubers, I probably don't have very much compared to you guys, but... To me, it seems a lot. And then here is a bookmark that has Born on the front and then on the back, the Southern Reach trilogy. And again, it says soon to be a major motion picture. I can never have enough bookmarks. I'm always losing bookmarks. And sometimes I read more than one book at a time. And so I need bookmarks that way. One for the first book I'm reading, another for the second book. I've been known to read four books at a time. I know, I'm weird. Okay, and then here's another bookmark, and it says Nocturnal Reader's Box, and it has like a creepy picture on it. Okay, and then on the back, Sombra, Bringing You the World. This must be one of the companies in one of the books, I'm guessing, because it seems like this, uh, in fact, yes, this box is called the Corporate Overlords Box. Okay, and then this card talking about the June theme, which I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting it. It says, All Hail the King. Okay, for some Stephen King fans, you may be excited, but I promise that if you're really a fan, you're about to get 10 times more excited. First, a special thank you to Chuck and Eric and DNV Agency, Brian and Richard at Cemetery Dance. Oh, you know what? I love Cemetery Dance Magazine. I haven't read it in a while. I used to subscribe to it. It is freaking awesome for horror lovers. Okay, and a huge thank you to Stephen King. In the June Nocturnal Readers Box, we will have an exclusive variant cover edition only available in our box. Once they are sold, that's all that will be made. Okay, now here, this explains what's in the box. Corporate Overlords. New release. Born by Jeff Vandermeer. And all the book plates are signed. There was 1.5 or one-fifth of the books they sent out were signed. Were actually signed the book, not the plate. Um, a previous release. Normal by Warren Ellis. You know what? I understand that they give you, each month, they give you one new release and one previous release. Okay. N-Gen Pattern Custom Socks. Yep, I was right. Jurassic Park. Okay. And Paper Street Soap Company Soap Bamboo Charcoal Soap with Coconut Oil and Palm Oil. And that's for Fight Club. Okay. Ew, Fight Club. Do not like that. But I'm sure the soap will be nice. Megadoto Publication... Oh, my goodness, what's wrong with me? Megadoto Publications Don't Panic Hand Towel. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yep, I was right about that. And then a custom notepad of the Southern Reach Expedition 12 from the Southern Reach Trilogy. 
and a hard enamel Velas Velociraptor DNA pin. Jurassic Park. Okay, the Sombra Company bookmark is from Dark Tower. And this art, apparently, this is from Dark Tower. But I thought it was born whenever they were talking about the bear. But you know what? Maybe this is the Dark Tower. To me, it looks like the Washington Monument. <laughs> or the San Jacinto Monument. monument. But um, apparently, that's the Dark Tower. Okay. Dummy. I haven't read any of the Dark Tower at all yet, anyway. Okay, so I think this is a nice box, and I'm excited about it, and I'm excited to get the Hail to the King box. That is going to be awesome. Maybe in the meantime, I can learn how to properly put a book plate on a book. <laughs> but, so there you go. I just wanted to share this with y'all. Bye-bye.